welcome back, everybody. This is the GSL. We it are is. chilling out here in the Mukdong studio in Seoul, South Korea. Watch some GSL up and down matches, and we've got MVP SC on top right now. Clearly, he's going to code S, um, unless something really crazy happens. But uh, beyond that, it's a bit of a mystery to see who's going to join him in code S. Here we have kind of a battle of the people at the bottom right now. We're going to see OGS top versus. Nest, not Nesty, Noble Nesty. S. I knew it was an end name. Wow. wow. The day we see Nest in the up and down sleep. matches, so uh Well MVP was in it. Well that's know. true. We've had a lot of big players in the yeah, up and down matches. So gonna I think I think well. Nesty is the only like champion that hasn't gotten the up and down matches at some point. Hmm, is that true? MVP, uh MC, Rain. Uh, what about um, Colt? I don't think Colt's ever been to the up and down uh, uh, Maybe not. Maybe you're right. I don't know. You're the stats guy. You figure it out. I will look it up later. But let's get into the game. First of all, Hop versus Noble S. Who is going to keep their chances alive? We're going to find out. All right, well, over here on the right side of the map, we have our Terran from the team Old Generation StarCrafters. It is... Not going to be on top of this group, unfortunately. Some people call them original gangster StarCrafters. <laughs> that might be true, too. Over on the left side of the map, we have our Blue Terran from the team MVP. Yes. MVP Noble Someone tweeted at me that's a name that means like royalty, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Makes sense. Oh, Noblesse? I guess so. I actually looked it up. Noblesse is the name for Scottish royalty mm. in French or something like that. Okay. That's interesting. I think he's probably oh. named himself after the comic, though. Dude, did you just see no. what I saw? There no, I is a it. proxy rat oh. outside of the base. Wow. Noblesse top is proxying this. Oh, proxying two barracks. What? Uh oh, this could be bad for Noble S, man. I mean, we've seen this opening crop up every once in a while. A bit of cheese here. Yeah. It's going to open up the fridge, take out the package, slice off something. The bunkers are like crackers. The Marines with the cheese is going to put it right on top. Yep, and he's going to cut off a little bit of something for Noble S, that's for sure. Yeah, now. It's going to be tough for Noble S to defend this. It really is. I mean, there's not going to be a bunker. There's no ramp on this map. So I think Topps made a really good decision going for uh, this cheese here. I mean, yeah, it's a good choice for this map. And, I mean, this is going to hit. Noblesse appears to be getting the gas in the bank for a factory. Yes. Oh, there it is. So yeah, this is going to work for sure. Then. This I mean, is going to work for sure. I guess you can't say for sure until the game's over, but it's looking bad for Noblesse. Yeah, but, I mean, it's going to hit right before... It's going to hit right before there's a, a Hellion, which could kind of save him, I guess, if he had a couple of Hellions out. But yeah. he's well, not going to have a Hellion out in time when this well, attack hits from top. The thing is, is Noble S really isn't scouting at all either. I mean, he just hasn't scouted. And he's going to find out right now yeah. as these Marines charge in here. It's three on one. That one Marine's going to die. He's pulling SCVs off of the line to try and defend. The bunker's going down for top. He's going to need to be careful with those SCVs and careful with uh, top's going to need to be careful with his units as well. He could get easily surrounded at the same time. Oh, that SCV just exploded, man. Yes, it did. And actually, this is down to one SCV for top, so that bunker will probably not complete. Yeah, it's just so many Marines, though. That's the problem, is that even if the bunker doesn't complete, oh, he needs he's to target down the SCV. So yes. Time. Yeah, he's losing so much mining time. He's losing so much, you know, SCVs, so many oh, SCVs. And top just pulled half of his SCVs to oh, join the battle. Might as well, man. I mean, at this point, you got to do it. Oh, but there's no. a Hellion out now. The SCVs oh. surround the Marines, and the Hellion does. Polish off those Marines. Oh, man. Noblesse may actually win this after all. Is Top going to turn his SCVs around? That's the question here. It looks like he's not. I don't no, know about this, man. No, he is not. Uh, yeah, fighting these well, two Marines as well. Oh, he gets one. You know, this is Still all in. There. He needs to do something with it or he's dead no matter what in the long oh. game. I don't know if this is going to work for Top. I mean, Noblesse has lost some too, but well, the key like to Top is the one who's behind right now. Yeah, the key to this is that you have double production when your opponent only has single production. But now the factory's up, he does have double production. Noblesse yeah, well, is actually producing better units with Hellions as well. 
Yeah, um, Noblesse also has more SCVs at this point, of course. And with some proper micro, I think Noblesse might be okay. Looks like Top is just going to kind of leave it at that. Yeah. A lot of SCVs having to be pulled again by Noblesse. And he's go. desperately trying to get that bunker up, but the Marines are all going to oh, be no. Oh, he does get a Marine in the bunker. That is bad. Oh, the Hellions burning down the forest in anger because of that. And Hellions don't kill bunkers very well, Mole Trap. So. No, they don't at all. Um, I really am surprised that happened. Noblesse could have taken out those Marines before they got in the bunker. Didn't quite work. Yeah. But So Top is basically, this is kind of like a desperate thing where he's trying to do like a soft contain. He yeah, knows the, he knows he can't kill him, so he's like, well, at least I'll keep him from getting an expansion up and try and do something else. And he's actually putting a tech lab on his Yeah, I think he's going to try to make barracks. some Marauders as well, but there's a Banshee on the way for Noble S, so that may not be the best answer at this oh, point. Oh, wow. Yeah, two tech labs, actually, on both those proxy racks. Adam. Yep, there's Marauder and Concussive Shell right away. He's just going to try to continue with this and see what he can do. The only thing is one Banshee yeah. in the main up top is going to ruin his day pretty quick. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, one Banshee is going to ruin the Marauder's Day as well if he yeah. decides to defend with it. It's very true. I I can't see this going very well for Top. I mean, he just didn't get the bunker up. Noblesse controlled that perfectly. Now with the Banshee coming out, he's looking pretty good. It's a good map for what Top tried, but just the execution was a little bit lacking here. And There goes the Banshee, and yeah. Top has no idea this is coming. Oh, he just hit that. Oh my gosh, did you see that? He hit the Scanopede hit with his Hellion. I didn't see it, but I see the results. The Scanopede with two hit points is a sad thing. Yeah. All right. Well, there are some Marauders there. Now some Noblesse is going to have to micro pretty carefully. Doing a good job of keeping those Hellions alive, actually. Oh, oh there's a tank out. A yeah, tank that is it. Play. That is it, man. He might even just be able to break the bunker with that. Oh, my gosh. This is just... Banshee in the there's main There's the Banshee. Now. And, and we might see Top just leave now. Yep, not a lot of There to we go. GG. And GG. A bad day here to GSL for OGS Top going 0 and 3. Going back down to code A, and Noble S gets a win, but I don't know how much it's going to help him. He's still 1 and 2. Oh, that's got to be just so frustrating for Top. You go from a GSL finalist to getting knocked down to the up and down with that game. That is tough, man. Yep. And, uh. The Medallion's not going to be his today. Ouch. Nope. Man, that was painful. It was painful to watch. That was a little painful. Of course, the truly tragic thing about this game is the fact that Noblesse still probably isn't going to get into Kodas either. Well, that's true, too. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, do, I will say I liked the idea that Top had. I think that this yeah. map is a good one for what he tried to do. I just think the, the execution may have been a little bit lacking, and at the same time, players are just getting really, really good at controlling their gathers, doing that early game cheese defense, so it's harder to make that work. It's much harder to uh, win with that than it was, you know, maybe about a year ago now. You know, we saw yeah. that build win games in the first couple seasons of the GSL, and nowadays it's kind of tough to pull it off. Yeah, and I think, uh, yeah, you're right, right, the execution. I think top... He basically like wasn't taking enough shots with his Marines. He was microing them too much without actually firing. So the group of Noblesse's SCVs would come out to defend, and he actually wouldn't kill any while he's retreating from them. Like yeah. that could have worked if he'd killed some and then gone back in and tried to put more pressure on and killed some more SCVs and used that to his advantage in that sense. But he, well, he couldn't really do that either. You know, if you're gonna cheese like that, there's a lot of things you can do to sort of uh, to sort of make it work better, you know, pull some SCVs, wait until they have more Marines. There's our current results right now. Yep. And so as you can see there, um, SC is at 3-0, and and Tasia is at 2-0, and and the rest of the players have at least two losses. So that means that if Tasia wins his next match against SC, then both of those two will automatically be going to Code S, and we will yeah. actually not even have to play the last couple games because it will be matches between losers. Basically. But and they're not if going anywhere. SC does beat Tasia, then he'll be two and one, and there will be a possibility of someone tying it up two and two with Tasia. So, uh, depending on how this game goes, we uh, may actually finish the game just there, or we may go into some more games and find out if we get tiebreakers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll see what happens. It could all end right here, but Tasia versus SCV, that's a tall order for Tasia. SC, if you keep in mind, he was the one that uh, Tasia was worried about playing. So, We'll have to see how things go. They're going to play on Crossfire as well. 
which is always a map that kind of breeds very interesting strategies yep. and mirror matches. Yep, although I think if SC decides to go bio again, Crossfire is exactly not the map to do that on. So, Oh, that's true too. Uh, if SC is more familiar with bio, he wants to go with that style instead, that might actually go in Tage's favor. Now, they do have a bit of history here in the GSL August round of 16, as you can see there. Tage did 2-0 uh, SC, so... Yeah. And, you know, Tage has been tearing it up on the online circuit here in Korea as well. I think he's prepared. I think he can give SC a run for his money, but SC has been playing so well today. The countdown has begun. Are we going to see the end of it right here? Are these the two players moving into Code S? We're about to find out, guys. This is GSL up and down, man.